Mr. Festus Kayamo, a minister of state under Muhammad Buhari, and also a spokesperson of Alhaji Tinubu Ahmed, has petitioned the DSS to arrest Mr. Peter Obi. And also in this video, we are going to talk about the meeting between Mr. Bonda Ahmed Tinubu and the Chief Justice of Nigeria, how they were caught in London having a secret meeting. My name is Okochapi Marcel and this is my channel. After the presidential election that took place on the 25th of February, that led INEC to declare Mr. Bolame Tinumbu of All Progressive Congress as the president elect. The opposition parties, PDP and Labour Party of Mr. Peter Obi, has dragged INEC, APC, and Mr. Bonda Ahmed Tinumbu to the Court of Appeal. They are seeking for court to notify the declaration of Mr. Tinumbu as the president elect, citing so many prayers. They are praying to the court to disqualify Tinumbu because he don't have the capacity and the right to contest for the president, saying that he was indulged in a drug business, he was caught, and they made the document available that this candidate is not supposed to contest for president. That is a big deal, but people don't know about it. And also, they also cited a lot of manipulation that Mr. Tinumbu don't have the lawful vote to declare him winner, that he did not score up to 5 million lawful votes in the last presidential election and many more um, many more prayers that they have uh, presented before the court to disqualify Tinumbu. Because of that, the APC camp, they knew how grievous the petitions are and they have been running up and down. In the last meeting they held, which was not disclosed, they promised themselves that they will do anything possible to stop Mr. Peter Ruby, who have the highest chance to counter the election. And today, Mr. Festus Kayamo, the Minister of State from Delta State, um, under uh, Muhammad Buhari, has petitioned the DSS to arrest Mr. Peter Obi. In his data, he did not even make any sense, but it was politically motivated. They asked him to do that. Mr. Tinumbu and the APC asked him to do that. And they are doing everything possible to stop Mr. Peter Obi. And we are having interesting time ahead. However, the Chief Justice of Nigeria was caught in a secret meeting with Tinumbu in London. What is the purpose of this meeting? This meeting was not announced, it was not disclosed. Why are they having secret meeting in London? Why didn't they have the meeting in Nigeria? Why do they flew to London to have such meeting? Remember that the Chief Justice of Nigeria has influence in the Supreme Court. And don't forget that this election petition must get to the Supreme Court. Think twice and understand what that means. However, there are some petitions that you can easily counter. But the petition that is against Mr. Tinumbu is a heavyweight petition. And Tinumbu knew about this. And that is why he has been running up and down and doing everything possible to stop Mr. Peter Obi. However, a lot of um, people have been saying that the source of the meeting, the, the, the purpose of the meeting is to find out possible means to counter the petition of Mr. Peter Obi, especially for the drug case that Tinumbu has in the US. As Mr. Tinumbu have presented the conviction document to the court. So that is one of the reasons they were in London. However, a lot of people that will watch this video that has biased mind towards one political party to the other, they will not like to buy the truth. They might insult, um, they might insult me because of this video, but the truth has to be told. It is time we start talking truth to whoever it is, no matter what happened, because as we are now, we understand what is going on in our country. And there is no better time to fight for our country if we did not fight it now. So the meeting they had in London is so trending and 
we are going to have so much interesting time ahead. Coming to Mr. Fistos Kayamo, he wrote a petition, as I said, to the DSS to arrest Mr. Peter Obi, and expect more of that to come. Expect more of that to come. A lot of people don't really know what is going on. A serious battle is going on right now. The battle of who will become the president of Nigeria. Believe me, there have never been tension like this before. And a new thing is going to happen in Nigeria. There are going to be serious crises ahead. I'm giving out this information for you to know when this thing will start coming. I'm telling you this. I know a lot of people without what I'm saying, but keep this video. When it starts happening, you would understand where it is coming from. And do not forget that Mr. Peter Obi has never made any inciting comment, maybe a comment that could lead to violence. Even after the election, a lot of people wanted to start protesting, PDP protested, but Mr. Peter be tweeted and said, let everyone be calm. And people are believing him, people are respecting him, and people are not ready to do anything against his tweets. And that is the man of the people. People respect him for whom he is, people respect him for what he says. So, if somebody like Mr. Festus Kayama just come out to say that Mr. Tinumbo should be arrested by DSS. <laughs> that is to say that it is the beginning of what people have been saying that will come ahead. And I'm going to use this opportunity to tell anyone who is um, a loving soul, who has been supporting a good cause for Nigeria, do not be afraid about what is happening. It's not a new thing. Nothing is going to happen to Mr. Peter Obi. Believe me, nothing absolutely is going to happen. So, thank you so much for having time to listen to this video. However, I made available the documents um, by Fistos Kayamo on the comment section, how he petitioned the DSS to arrest, arrest Mr. Peter Obi. So you can go through the documents right there in the description um, box. And also don't forget, to share our videos, like this video, and subscribe to our channel if you have not done that. Thank you so much for having time to listen to this video. I am Okocha P myself. See you on my next video. Thank you.